Hey! Today on Sky and Out, let's go sledding in impossible places. What if you don't have a hill? That could be a problem. Or what if there's just very little snow? Hardly any at all. But what if you do have some stairs? That could help. So we're going to do a few different things and different ways that we can make a sledding hill anywhere. This is especially great if you don't happen to have a magical winter wonderland in your backyard or if the mountains are too far to drive away to. Ever looked at your stairs outside and thought, hey, that would make a great sledding hill. If you haven't, then you should. You should give it a try. If you're lucky and you have one that has two sets of stairs, you can put the hill on one side and then they can just go around and walk up the stairs on the other side. And if not, then just push the snow to one side of the stairs and then still keep a walkway on the side of the path so that you can get up. <laughs> we started by just putting a ton of snow onto the stairs and like shoving it into place, but we soon realized it worked a lot better if you create kind of handrails on both sides, like groove it. So you'll wanna just make two piles of snow on either side and then as you sled down it will create a track in the middle that sinks down and it makes it so that <laughs> it's kind of like a bobsled track or a luge track but for sledding and then you <laughs> can have fun just zipping down a sled track Go ahead and like and subscribe. This would be a great time to do that. In just a little bit, we'll also talk about what to do if you don't have a hill and you don't have stairs. So you have neither, but you do have snow. That's kind of important. Ready, set, If you don't have stairs and you don't have a hill, you can make your own hill. Just use the snow shovel the way that you would like shovel your driveway and you always end up with a ton of snow on the side. Well, instead of that, shovel on a, a slight tiny hill or even on flat. And if you make a big enough pile, you can turn it into a small hill. Or what if you do have a hill but there's kind of a lot of obstacles, like trees, and you don't want to hit them. Well, you can make a groove track again. Start by shoveling a little bit onto the sides near where the trees are that you want to go around. And then those hills will prevent you from going off into the trees and will um, turn into a track. Every time that you go down, it'll get deeper and deeper. You don't hit the trees, and you can have a lot of fun. You see the birdies, ready? I well, can't touch them, just watch. There they go. Oh, there they go. Did you see the birdie? Wow. No, no, don't touch. Don't touch, just watching. Just watching. Just watching. Okay, so use just your snow shovel. Pretend like you're shoveling your driveway, but you shovel it all to one side. So you go from one side to the middle and the other side to the middle and that huge long pile in the middle becomes your sled track. And the more times you go down it, the more it becomes faster and quicker and icier. And that also means that if the sun does come out and it starts to melt, this sled track will last a lot longer than a regular sledding hill because it's so compacted. This was a few days later and it had melted quite a bit, but it still worked. Okay, last but not least, what if you have a ton of snow, but not a great area for it, or there's kind of a drop off at the end? Hey, there's always a way to turn it into a sledding hill. Yeah, are you ready to go sledding? We just 
chopped into it and dug until the grade became a lot more sloped and then it was a perfect little sledding hill. It's always a way to make it work. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope that some of these help you get outside and have your own fun in the snow. Making some awesome sled tracks and sled hills. See you next time.